Right now in the charging industry, we're at a very, very interesting time. We've seen some exciting announcements that have come out from different manufacturers regarding what we call the Tesla standard. Uh, we've also seen some positive growth uh, in the charging world. We even saw in Europe a very interesting announcement that the city of Amsterdam just decided to ban internal combustion engines, not in 10 years, but in two years of operating within their jurisdiction. So the world continues to change. But as it relates to blink charging, there's a couple things that remain constant. We remain one of the only fully vertically integrated companies out there today. And what that means is we manufacture our own chargers, we develop our own software and networking to make our chargers work and communicate with our customers. We sell and service our own equipment and we own and operate our own equipment as well. So when it comes to the charging standards, Blink has dubbed itself officially agnostic. If it, the need arises, which it has now, to put a Tesla connector on our chargers, we're already in a position, and indeed have already investigated this topic, are in a position now to add that cable to our forward-looking chargers that will manufacture abroad and here in the United States. There's a lot of details surrounding this that our CTO will fill you in in a minute, but the basics are this industry is gonna to continue to adapt. And the country companies that will make it are the ones that can pivot and change. We're right at the beginning of the innovation curve in EVs and EV charging. If you think of how far the innovation curve took us on internal combustion engines, think all the way back to where we were when we first came out with the Model T on mass production. And then all the way, we went all the way over to the other side of the innovation curve. Well, EVs are still at the beginning. There's a lot more innovation, collaboration, standardization to come. This is just one part of that. And to also a very important point, when we look at where kilowatts are gonna be distributed globally and in the United States, 90 plus percent of those ki kilowatts are gonna be distributed by L2 charging. That's a fact that's been validated by McKinsey, by Price Cooper's Waterhouse, by Bloomberg, and so on. So we look at DC fast charger and it becomes the bright, shiny object, but really it's 10% of 100% solution. The other 90% is making sure we have affordable, cost-effective, low cost to operate L2 charging everywhere we can get it. Because sometimes we forget that those cars that we buy, they sit for 95% of the time. So with that, let me introduce our Ginger Bod, our CTO, to talk about the details of our exciting new charger. Thank you, Brendan. First of all, it's great to be here today, showcasing some of the great product line that we have at ABS 36. As most of you know, we produce products not only for residential, multifamily, fleet, commercial, and highway corridors, but we cover all the different segments. One of the new products we have in development is our new 240 kilowatt DC fast charger. This DC charger is built based on the latest silicon carbide technology to improve reliability, efficiency, and footprint of the product. This product comes with not only the CCS connector, but also comes with the NACS connector as well to charge not only the cars that are on the road today, but also tomorrow. We would love to have you guys visit our booth so we can demonstrate some of these products for you. Thank you.